Hey, this is Jason Roselle, and welcome to Get Inspired, the official podcast and YouTube show that will empower your mind, body, business, social media branding, relationships, and anything that's holding you back from becoming the best version of you. Listen, before I became a TV personality, an author, a celebrity trainer, a life and wellness coach, and the founder of Caliente Fitness, I was broke obese for 20 plus years, full of stretch marks, full of excuses, and most importantly, here's the deal. I was unhappy. I was able to change my life completely, and since then, I've helped thousands do the same. This show is gonna bring you awesome guests, tons of helpful programs that'll aid you, but most importantly, your questions and topics that will make this show your show. My question is this, are you ready to get inspired? We'll get ready because the show starts now. On today's episode of the podcast and YouTube show of Get Inspired with Jason, we're talking about fasting. Should you fast? Should you not fast? Look, I'm going to be completely transparent. Besides the fact that you know I'm not a doctor, I'm going to tell you from my experience and many of my clients' experiences. And always remember what works for one person does not work for the next. Number one. Do I feel and believe it works based on facts? Yes, absolutely. Do I also know that, is it sustainable? Maybe it is to you, but it's not for me. And it's definitely not for many of my clients. The reason I say that, it depends. There's so many different types of fasting methods you can do. Some longer, some during later times of the day, earlier times of the day. You have to be the judge, right? Anybody can become a make-believe doctor and start Google research, or I call them Google doctors, right? They, They start prescribing what is best and what is not best, or they start comparing. The comparing game has to stop. You have to be the one that decides what works for you. A lot of times, you have to go through trial and error. You know, back when I battled being overweight, depressed, binge eater, anxiety driven, I didn't have the access that most of you guys have right now that are watching or listening right now, which is like, hey, people that have been through stuff, right? People that have actually overcome these hurdles and achieved, right? Again, I always repeat what works for one doesn't work for the next because just like you can go on a date with somebody that you think is awesome and the person that dated them prior to or went on a date with them thought they were horrible, right? Because it just, you know, apples to peaches, peaches to mangoes. And no, maybe that didn't make sense to you, but to me it does because the truth in lies in you have to try things. Now, if you're saying, you know what, I don't, I wanna just cut the BS. I I wanna get to the meat and potatoes. That's when I tell you the tips, especially if you've known me or follow me for a while, I always tell you, stick to five to six meals per day. Your breakfast, a snack between breakfast and lunch, your lunch, snack between lunch and dinner, And then late night, if you worked out really hard, you can have, you know, a low calorie type of snack, such as a protein shake, maybe a handful of blueberries, raspberries, or even strawberries. Now, back to the fasting. I have tried it in the past just for fun and giggles, right? Fun and giggles. And it was not sustainable to me simply because I knew that if I went to bed, say, at 11 o'clock at night and I couldn't eat till, say, 11, 12 o'clock in the afternoon, man, it was just tough for me, right? I don't, I'm not a heavy lunch eater. I don't know if you are, but I don't like heavy lunches and I don't need a heavy breakfast either. But just to get, number one, like I always advise my clients, in order to peak and start getting your metabolism and fat burning mode, you want to have something in the morning. Even if you ate like crap the week week, uh, sorry, the day before, the weekend before, it's okay because you want to start waking up your metabolism saying, hey, look, I messed up even if you didn't or you did, but it goes back into its routine because when you feed it in that little window of two uh, two to three hours, right, that snack after your breakfast, boom, it starts elevating your metabolism, causing you to burn more fat. Again, this is more of a realistic approach. Having five to six meals per day, Mind you, most of my programs, okay, and if you're watching or listening and you've never done any of my programs, go check them out right now. The link is on the description or visit calientebody.com because these work and they're very simple, right? 
There's many programs that I have, but there's different levels to them. But needless to say, I much prefer, not only for myself and my clients who have achieved a lot of A, toning throughout their body, B, fat loss, and C, weight loss, through doing it the old school way, but more so, more so the realistic way. But you may be saying, oh, well, I've fasted and it works, right? And I'm, and I'm not arguing that. It does work. But can you, is it sustainable to you? Same thing with keto. I've known people that have lost 40, even 60 pounds with keto, right? But then when they go back to eating normal, which is essentially what I'm saying, and what is normal? Nobody can really define what is normal. Some people think eating normal is twice a day. I eat five to six times a day. That's what causes me and thousands of my clients to lose weight, maintain, and keep the weight off and keep going. So again, you have to be the judge. But if you're watching or listening and saying, well, damn, I just want to cut it. Like I said, I want to get straight to the meat and potatoes. Check out my programs. So lastly on this, when it comes to fasting, I want you to keep in mind the most important thing. If you decide to start it, ask yourself, okay, if it works, cool, I'm going to do it. Ask yourself, can you do this and live like this for the rest of your life? Say you're someone that likes to go on a vacation two times, maybe three times a year, right? You're telling me your wife, your husband comes and brings you, fr- uh, you know, say fruit, a basket of fruit, an omelet, French toast, and it's eight o'clock and your window says, oh, you can't eat for another five hours. You're going to tell your wife or husband, no, I'm not, I'm not interested. And I'm saying this because for all you fasters out there, people are thinking of, of, you know, fasting like this, you may not go on vacations often, but the reality is you're going to be in situations sometimes where vacation or no vacation, you're going to be in a situation where you have to eat, right? And no one's going to force you. But again, ask yourself, is this realistic? Same thing with keto, but we'll save that for another episode. I hope this small episode opened up your mind. Maybe it reconfirmed what you already knew, or maybe you just found me and you're like, you know what? I want to know more. I want to learn more about your coaching. So like I said, check out the link on the the description. Hit me with a thumbs up if you enjoyed this and share this maybe with a friend, a family member, or several that you feel could benefit from this particular episode. And make sure you go back and check out season one of the podcast, because right now we're in two episode i think we're in 64 65 and it's rocking keep that caliente mind caliente body and always get inspired stay inspired have a beautiful day i'll see you in the next one make sure to subscribe to my channel if you're a new viewer and don't forget to click on the bell so you can get notifications every time a new show releases if you enjoyed this video give it a like and feel free to leave your comments i'm jason roselle and you're watching get inspired with jason